happy anniversary to the Council of Excellence Nation Deacon. I must say that I feel honored to be able to speak here and get this space to speak out loud. Uh, well, look, I have missed my slot. I was meant to speak <laughs> early, so I won't actually take the whole time. I was meaning to read something uh, from, basically, yes, I am based in University of East London, but I'm also an um, activist from Bangladesh, and uh, I must admit that I myself couldn't go back home for the last two years. This year, Muriam knows that earlier in March, I had a conference, so it was really, it was an important conference on gender, um, and sexualities that I did my PhD in, but I couldn't go home. My brothers and my family said, no, nope, you're not coming home because it is unsafe. So it is a very high institution. I wish I could congratulate CMMB more, but I want to update a little bit on Bangladesh uh, because I missed my slides. So if you all can please read this statement that I've distributed with my friends, uh, Erin and I distributed. Uh, please do read it, and then you will find something uh, that is really hard trending. Uh, there are 84 bloggers, Bangladeshi bloggers, just for writing. They are living under death threats. They are really desperately wanting a relocation and a help of humanity. And I believe most of you would be really be interested in thinking through ways, what can we do? We've got four people, uh, four places for four out of 84 to go somewhere, but they are still stuck in Bangladesh. So you know how Anandu Bijadash was killed just a few months before his death. So that is one uh, uh, call. I know there have been some, uh, there is a problem because we haven't given any email address. But you know, we came here via Muriam and the Council of Ex-Muslims, Imad, we are really a group. So if you really can think of any way, uh, get in touch with Muriam, with Fibers, and they will certainly put you in touch with me. Uh, but we, ha we don't feel it is safe to put any email address here, honestly, because I do think that anybody can kill me, even in town and this, you never know, much it is. So, I just want to say really thank you so very much for making this space to all of you, and I feel really proud of being part, and I know that the good works that Council of Ex Muslims is, are doing, I find the word Council of Ex Muslims very much of a, a powerful name, a name of emancipation, a name of change, and a name that reminds us to think differently and act innovatively differently. So thank you for being there as symbols of courage, hope, and change. Thank you. Thank you, Ramana.